Okay, here we go. Right, the first video we took the uh, session off and put it into this little file here. 2019 data. Click on that, open it up. There we go, Aragon on Saturday. Click on that, just the one session. Just for the test. There we go. Right, let's open the software up. There we go, come straight up. That was the first out lap as you can see, so it's not an actual complete lap. If we want to go to the fastest lap, it's highlighted. There we go, so we'll go to that one. Click on that. We can remove that one. There you have the circuit map. A neat feature is you can put sectors in. Uh, click on split one. Now oh, we'll just put a little sector in, say here. Right click and then go to sector two. Take that. Uh, let's put that. I'll just say. Here, right click. As you can see, there's no. You can have three splits. I'm just going to go for the two. Once you've put them in, scroll up to the save. I'll save and calculate your splits. And there we go. Back to the fastest lap. And then you can look at different laps and uh, see where your sector times are. Obviously, you'd like a little bit more consistency there. Uh, with the data on this, you can put the actual um, Google Maps on. There's the mighty Aragon. Also, I've not really got any sensors plugged into this room, the expansion boxes, but if we go to chart, I've looked at uh, the GPS speed and also the uh, XXL. So where you can see here where the XXL is it's highest. That's where the slowest speed is, makes sense, so you know where you're braking harder. You could compare different runs. I'd like something a little bit closer, but just for an example I'll go for this one. Completely different as you can see uh, performance wise speeds so you can compare the quite slow two minute ten against the two minute five. Also gives you an ideal for the sector time as well. You can uh, have three comparisons. Let's put the uh, uh, took longer laps. It's a neat little machine, and you can also add add in with an expansion box, other like your front and rear port throttle position sensor, and things like that. It's a nice little um, lap timer and quite accurate. I tested it up against the AIM Solo, and it uh, it, it worked really well. Uh, it just needs to be vertical, or as vertical as you can, and um, the GPS will be fine. 